when audiences went to see Alien in theatres back in 1979, they were introduced to a new creature that was terrifying, unstoppable, and totally unique. We wanted to make a game that recaptured that original experience. We wanted to make the alien scary again. Depending on how cautious players are, we've seen encounters in alien isolation last well over 30 minutes in some cases, and this just can't be done with scriptive behavior. As soon as the player can predict a pattern in the alien, it stops being scary. It doesn't follow any prescribed path or set of behaviors that are telling it to do specific things. It's just reacting to the player's presence and the choices that the player makes. The alien really is hunting you. It is using active senses and moment-to-moment -moment decision making to hunt you down and kill you. If you look back at the first film, it's mainly top body shots of the alien, the attack. Obviously, we need to expand upon that and actually think about how he moves when he's slow, give that eerie, creepy feeling back to him. And when he's moving fast, be able to have that agility to get to you at any point and chase you down. The alien's huge and the environments are all down to scale with the film sets. And we need to move him through that at full speed. We don't want you to see discrete animations. What we want is smooth, continuous movement. We want him to look alive. This is an enemy that you need to avoid at all costs. An alien that is stalking you, that's intelligent, unpredictable, extremely dangerous. Even if you find a gun, your first thought is going to be, if I fire this, will the alien hear it? Alien Isolation is about encounters that are meaningful and terrifying. So that even when the alien isn't on screen, you'd be terrified by the thought that it'll be around the next corner. This is a game where you'll never feel safe.